Hi guys, this is a real quick tutorial on how to put glass eyes inside your Reborn. Um, I have to make it fast because my internet is just driving me crazy and we're having problems with it. So I can't upload it if I make it really long. So, um, and also, you're going to be able to watch me do this. I will make another video where you can watch me. My husband's going to set up a camera for me so you can just see everything I'm doing. So that video's coming soon, but I'll do this for now because I said I would show you. So here we go real quick. What you're going to do, the first thing I do is when you bake a Reborn, you bake it at 275 for 10 minutes. That's how I do it. Um, I, what I do is I put the head in the oven at 275 for about 4 minutes to warm it up and make it more pliable. That works best for me. I take it out, let it cool off just a little bit so you don't hurt yourself, and then you go ahead and do the things you need to do to insert the eye. The first thing you're going to do, stay in there, head. Oh, be good. I have to stand up. It's not behaving. No. Wait, let's try this. Okay. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is get an X-Acto knife and you want a brand new blade on it. This is just an example. It's not a brand new blade. The head is nice and warm and what you're going to do is you're going to go to these little bumpy things behind the eyes and you're going to gently cut a little slit. Toward, make sure it's towards you, more towards you than it is towards the outside of the eye so you don't get the eye by accident. So make a slit from here to here. Do it gently and slowly and just try the eye. If it doesn't fit, you cut just a little bit more until it can get in there, yet, yet it's kind of snug. If you cut the slit way too big, the eye will not go in there right, and it's going to be impossible to glue because the glass eyes are slippery. They're, I've done that before. I've cut this way too big, and then I couldn't get the eye to stay. It was a nightmare. So go slow. See if your little eye will fit in there. If it doesn't, cut just a little bit more. It'll cut very easily because it's warm. So be very careful when you do this. Once you've got both of those cut and you have your slits and you know that you did it enough where the aisle fit in snugly. Snugly? <laughs> snugly, I can't say it. You guys, I need so much help. <laughs> anyway, once the eye fits in there really good, then you um, go ahead and you will. I'll show you on Niles now. Ah. I don't have another eye to show you as an example. I just have a little one. But anyway, you take your eye. Mine have a stem on it. The German ones have a stem on it. So you hold your eye. You hold the stem and the round part. Get a good grip on it. Don't squeeze too hard because it is glass and it could break. That's never happened to me. They're pretty sturdy, but just be careful. Then you go ahead and you get the eye up in there with one hand. Your other hand is going to hold the head. So you get the eye up in there until you think it fits right and snug in there. What was that? He had dust on him. And um, you get it up in there with this hand. You position it, and the nice thing about these eyes with the stems, it makes it easier to go left, right, up, or down. So you get it up in there with this hand. Your other hand is holding the head, and it's okay to squeeze the vinyl to get it in there. It's, it's not going to hurt anything. Give it a good squeeze. Just make sure your hands are clean. So you get it in there. You position it the way you want, and there you go. Your eyeballs are in. After you get your eyes in and you're sure exactly how you want them, that the pupils are where you want them to be, you flip over your baby. And this is what it looks like after you cut it and you insert the eyes. You cut that little flap and you insert them in there and they should fit snug. Okay, then you get, what I use is E6000. I put it on a popsicle stick and I don't have one handy right now. So we'll use this Q-tip and pretend that we put it on there. A nice big glop. Then you get your Q-tip or your, well sorry, your popsicle stick. And you go in there and you glue all the way around like here. The rim of the cut and the eye. I go all the way around the flap. I make a big circle. Like, eh. I go, like, all the way around the eye and around the outside of this flap there. So you make a... Don't be afraid to glop it on. Glop the heck out of it. Um, if your eyes are in there snugly like that, nothing's going to leak through. It's never happened to me before. My E6000 has never leaked through. So I'm, that's not, like, a really big concern. Just be really careful and just glop it on there on both eyes. I let it dry overnight, but you don't have to. You can wait an hour, and it should be in there pretty good. And then I put another layer on just to make sure those eyes are in there. You know, they're not going to move and go anywhere. So after that dries, there you go. You have your German glass eyes inserted. And I hope this helped you until I can make the video where you can watch me. So you know, you guys, you know me. I go over it twice. So here we go. You heat up the head for four minutes at 275. Let it cool off a little bit. Grab your baby, 
Where are the eye sockets? Okay, you take your X-Acto knife with a new fresh blade, gently make the slits, just like real little ones, and you don't want to overdo it, so go small. Make a little slit, make another, you know, make it a little bit longer, see if you can put your eye in there. If you can't, make it just a little bit more, and then your eyes need to fit in there snugly. You do that with both ones. I said snugly again. <laughs> okay, you take your one hand, take the glass eye, hold it kind of like that, get it up in there. Your other hand is holding the baby's head. Don't be afraid to squish the vinyl to get it in there. You're not going to hurt it. Just make sure your hands are really clean. Position it in the stems I like because you can go up, down, like that, like I said. Get it positioned the way you want them. There they are, in there, positioned the way you want them, and then you, that's when you do the gluing process. So this is how you insert your German glass eyes. And again, please watch for another video where you can watch me do it. I'm really excited. My husband's going to set a camera up here, and it's going to be just there, like, forever. It's going to be stationary, where all I have to do is film. Just click it and film. That's going to be so great, because you can watch me do these things. And it's easier when you have actually get a watch. So I hope this did help you. If you have any questions, please send me a message. And um, yeah, so like I said, I will make another video where you can watch me do this. But this is how you do it for now. And I also wanted to bring up real quick, a lot of you make comments and I can't reply to you. And I don't want you to think I'm being a snob. It's just you have your settings where I can't reply. And I've tried to message these people and then the settings are you can't mes message them. So I try to reply to everyone who comments. If I miss it, it's because it gets so confusing, but if I don't comment back, it's because I can't. Your settings are, are set where I can't. But I think I covered everything, so I will do this again where you can watch. I just love him. So cute. <laughs> but that's it. Please ask me questions. I hope you guys have a beautiful, amazing day, and stay cute. We love you. Bye-bye.